Yo, what's going on guys? And Zao's an absolute beast with the new items here in Season 14. Titanic Hydra in particular seems to suit him the best. The auto attack reset works wonderfully for his Q knockup since it's on hit. And so it works really well with his passive as well because Titanic Hydra has an activation now which is an auto reset and a loads of damage on top of that. So when we jump on someone, we'll already have our Q ready for the most part, especially in the late game. We will auto into Titanic and then auto and they'll already be knocked up. If you're try really trying to maximize your damage when you jump on someone, you should do an auto then Q reset because Q is an auto reset. But if you're worried about them flashing or dashing away, then in those cases, when you do have Titanic Hydra, you'll just jump to them already with Q on, auto Titanic, auto, and you'll be good to go. We have Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Coup de Grasse, Free Boots, Cosmic, Attack Speed, AD, and Armor. We are going to be pushing for a Titanic into a sweet sweet sundered sky shojin sundered sky is similar to divine sunder but it's more on the healing heavy side you don't want to rush it first because it doesn't interact with anything that isn't champion so as a jungler rushing sundered sky first doesn't really feel good laners can certainly get away with it though auto straight into e he's kind of like a fake auto attack reset for zinza we're gonna go ahead and smite him so we can get our level two faster auto Q reset. You can go for a W or for Q on your level 2 on Zin Zhao. If you're on red buff side, you should always go W level 2. Otherwise, Q level 2 is alright. Get Poppy top bot. Ganking top lane to mid is harder. The top wall got huge. The mid wall got huge. It's challenging to come up behind it. Meanwhile, bot lane lost some wall, so it's easier to get in behind. We are going to be pathing for bot lane vast majority of junglers it's your best move if you're playing a jungler who can go through walls like talon or kane or zach with three points in his e then sure top and mid are totally fine but for most junglers prioritizing uh top and mid early games kind of rough auto and acute typically doing three to five camps on zin is optimal you can full clear and finish around 330 that's also okay to do like here I'm not really seeing a whole lot other than maybe mid gank and mid gank's actually looking pretty promising right now Jace has the way of pushing to Trist Trist is missing a lot of health I'm gonna go ahead and ghost early got 15 seconds to ghost I'm assuming Jace doesn't have flash since he already died here we go we're gonna run him behind we can lead in with an auto Q the knock up in the w auto you might be wondering why i didn't e super early if i jumped to him immediately he would have just knocked me away and then i wouldn't have any way of doing damage so i'll just run up with my ghost advantage pressure him with autos if he knocked me away then i could just jump on him after i was done traveling away from him and he'd be screwed here's the shivana she had scuttle i can't really fight them both we'll take a short little fight with her here even though she's level four i do actually win this just with Poppy being here, it makes it kind of hard. We'll go ahead and reset now. It's about time for us to base. Let's go ahead and pick up as much of Titanic as we can. Typically, you'd want to get your team at after. Because Tunnelers, it's only 5 less AD, but you get 250 health. Zinza already has plenty of AoE damage on his W and his E to where team at rush isn't necessarily the best on him. These guys are low. Bot lane's an easy angle here. They haven't backed yet, so they have minimal gold spent compared to us. It looks like they're going to stay to push since the wave's already pushing towards my bot lane. This is looking like a pretty good opportunity. Yeah, this is looking really, really good. I don't even think it's warded. I'm going to hit it deep from behind. We'll basically just have to suicide. I don't want to show too early, though. Now I'll go. I want their wave to be able to hit. Right, they're both basin. I had to throw that out or they're going to basically just reset on me. Nice. Set up the double. I needed to make sure their wave got ahead of them so they couldn't just run into turret as they saw me coming from behind. People do that a lot when they realize they're going to die. They just run into turret. But if they have a bunch of minions there, there's nothing they can do. They have to keep running to the next turret. And my teammates were going to be there in time to stop them. The auto cute. 
Shivana might actually be on Dragon here. She has a recurve bow. She certainly could get away with doing that. I mean, I can't really stop it other than uh, walking all the way over there. I don't really want to. There is a chance. Yep. There you go. Well played Azura. He doesn't want to move as support with lane prior. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and we'll go top. We'll take our Raptors here. Punisher for doing drag. Whenever you see Shivana with a recurve bow, there's a very high chance she is going to uh, still dragon. Which is every game, by the way. <laughs> every game, Shivana goes recurve bow. Wait, I'm not even seeing her here. Wait, where the heck did she actually go? She didn't go for Krug. She didn't stop me on Raptors. Oh, she's... What? They're just doing this? Hit Poppy with our W. I need my teammates to react. Like, what is this? These guys are free pickings. She ends up flashing out. I'm okay with that. We'll take the little bug... We'll gain Jace here in a moment. His flash is still beyond a cooldown. Let's take blue. E auto key reset. Wow, he's being aggressive. He's behind too. Serves him right. Let's take Scuttle. Push for her red. Possibly. Oh man, that's rough. Against champions, you generally knock them up first. That way they can't dodge your W and you max W for something that's out as your hard damage source. So it's pretty important that it lands. Against monsters, you don't typically have to do that because they're not actively dodging it. And I missed it against Scuttle. <laughs> Jace is pushed. If he stays for play, I kill him. This doesn't seem to be awarded. But Jace is missing, so is Poppy, so is Shivana. I don't want to proceed much deeper than this right now. E auto Q. You see where the Jace is? Poppy must have based. We could definitely gank her. Her R, R might still be on a cooldown. Nice. We're six around eight minute mark. Somewhat standard for jungle these days, especially if you're not taking a bunch of minion XP. See how easy it is for a top lane to wall off jungle? Now that top lane has this huge wall, they all they have to do is ward that bush. E auto Q. Hit her with the slow. She's coming down. So she did lose flash there. Yeah, we, we're not going to be able to kill her. She's too tanky. Shivana's also here. We can run mid lane real quick. I mean, it's warded. Jeez Louise, man. I don't think this is warded, but maybe. Jace did blast me from far away and he's still missing. I have my third auto ready. E auto Q. Auto R auto. I think I might actually lose that there. Interesting. I suppose she does have a lot more gold spent than I do. I only have 750 in terms of actual items and she has Closer to 1500, so about double my gold spent. Boy, oh boy. Let's back at our tunneler and team out here. Oof, we don't want two of those. Got our free boots as well. Pretty good power spike for us. We'll pick up control ward. Bot lane's resetting. We got time to wrap red in the bot lane. We'll run it the route this way. If I ran for Krug's red, then it'd put me in a weird spot where if I go bot, I have to path over dead space. Dragging up 48, so it's perfectly. Perfect to play for bot side right now. It's the only thing that makes sense. Tmat is an, not really an auto reset, or I should say it doesn't count as an on hit attack like Titanic does. So the Tmat really isn't that useful compared to Titanic. 
Titanic's way better because we can apply passive or even our empowered Q autos. Auto W, auto Q. Now I could go mid. This guy's playing like such a ding dong. He's over the top aggressive all the time. Oh, it's awarded. That sucks. You see how he swaps to hammer mode immediately? It's because if I jump on him, he can knock me off of him. My ghost gets completely wasted, and we can't really gank him from behind either because of this wall right there. If we, we'd have to gank him from the opposite side from behind. Hey, Shivana. The auto Q. Yeah, you don't win this fight, buddy. I actually spent my gold this time. Auto R auto. Not close at all. If we both have equal gold spent, she's going to get butchered. She's Dark Harvest. I'm Lethal Tempo. Jace kills me, but at least we stall Dragon. Now we're on Titanic Power Spike. Game's looking pretty for us. We're on a decent, decent window here to dominate. Her blue buff's coming up. We'll play bot side once again. Triss is on crack, and Jace is going to have to spend gold to match her at this point. So he might have actually based to spend my gold he got there. Eh, maybe I should go for Syndra. Siobhan's going to be spawned in before me. My control word's still up bot side, so I'd rather not lay it over the wall. Hey, Shivana. He auto Q. Knock up. Auto Titanic. How did she even get over there? That was so strange. It's like she teleported or bugged out or something. It's a little more efficient to use your Titanic reset when your Q's on. That way you can do it faster. I'll try that on this next one. E auto, Titanic auto. Max Q, last E second. I could probably wait for her on this buff or at least ward this area and then lead over to my blue side. That way I know where she's at. That's kind of hilarious. She's just giving up. She's giving up big time. So we're taking her camps. She's in a really tough position. That's what I was saying on this power spike with the Titanic. There's very little she can actually do. And now I just cross over. She comes over here. I've already taken everything. Maybe her wolf spawns in. Maybe they don't. Jeez, he keeps warding this spot. The auto Q Titanic. Auto W. Nice trade, buddy. All right. I might walk into Siobhan. I think I should be fine, though. Oh, right, yeah. She's on her red. I have 900 smite. Got it. Auto Titanic. She kind of went through it there. That's awkward. The auto R. I gotta walk out of that. Get away from where the Jace is at. Might still be able to gank Poppy here, to be honest. She is full Sunfire. Makes it a little dicey. Got her with my W. Land the EQ. She ends up flashing away. So we were never really gonna kill her there if she had flash. If I was Shivana, I would run to my Raptors right now because she already knows her red's gone, so I'll cover the Raptor angle. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Who cares? Since Harold's up, it's not worth it. She was most likely will go that way. Beautiful. Oh, maybe. Oh, pfft. All right, this guy's always just got wards. Oh, she actually didn't come over here. I'm surprised. Very surprised. My control word's been up in this bot lane tri brush for so long. All right, so she is bot side. She is full item as well. She has Nash, really high damage output, but incredibly squishy because Nash doesn't give HP. Or any defensive stat, really. Could wait for the bot lane, assuming this isn't warded. Alright, 
right, yeah, they're headed back. Jace might converge on Zerath here. Right as he crosses this threshold, I can see him. Looks like he's not converging. All right, we can actually do this. Jace is low. He auto Q. He flashes away. That sucks. He bursted the crap out of her. I can steer this into the turret here. We go inside of it. We can skip past the minions. Start our charge and skadoosh. It shoots us back with shield on. It also spawns these little guys. Oh, cool. Misfortune stole it and launched it into a wall. Nice. <laughs> oh my goodness. He loses health whenever... And we don't even get to use his charge against the turret now. That sucks. When in doubt, don't go inside Herald because you can do a lot more damage than good by going inside of it. I'm pretty much sitting on a full item. I need to buy. Okay, solo Poppy, maybe. Well, I can, but she's going to run away. She's got loads of armor, so she can certainly manage to escape. Dragon's coming up. I definitely need to back. As much as I would love to farm it out till Sundered Sky, it's going to take too long. Dragon will be gone. Tier 2 boots are fantastic on Zen. The question is which ones? I think in a pinch, Lucids are fine. But typically, you do want Plated or Mercs. Against their team, they don't have that much hard CC that... Sorry. They don't have that much hard CC that Merc Treads interact with. So I would be more likely to lean into Plated against the Jace, Santa, Poppy at physical damage. This is most likely warded like it's been all game. Oh, it didn't... I don't think that made it into Bush. And they're not going to step up. Alright, cool. And we'll take that. Got your green jungle item finished. Nice little shield for us. Kind of want to hold on to my dash. Not seeing anybody. Hey, Syndra. And goodbye, Syndra. He auto Q Titanic into W. Beautiful. No, oh, there it is. Oh, couldn't get it in time. At this point, we want to stay in her jungle as much as possible, deprive her of her farm. This also sets us up to be constantly behind her laners for easy ganks. I can dive Senna. She's crazy. She stayed way too far up. Yato Q Titanic. Down she goes. We got off the knockup even though she flashed with the Titanic reset there. But with my green jungle item, I should be able to solo Shivana as is. Ooh, nice. Hey, Jace. He's kind of fast. Her red buff might be gone if that's what she went for. Oh, nice. E auto Q Titanic. We're scaling up big time. Gonna turn into a raid boss. Zinzao can do that in team fights as well with his R. It makes you immune to all damage that isn't within the circle itself. So if they're not standing inside the circle, anything they've produced won't hurt you. Not even ignites. And they quit. Let's go ahead and take a look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt, we were top three, not bad. Damage taken, we were the most in the game. And for self-mitigated, we were top three, not bad. For runes high value, all in all, Zin Zhao is a lot more consistent with Titanic Rush. He feels extremely solid. I will say, playing someone like Nocturne does feel better as a whole. Nocturne has higher solo potential, and Nocturne R is absolutely insane with the experimental hex plate. So if Nocturne's picker banned, Zin Zhao is a pretty easy pickup. If you guys enjoyed the Sin Zhao video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.